And away from that story is now on to other national matters. Some angry Nigerians protested at the National Assembly in Abuja against the continued detention of the human rights activist Omoyele Showare and Olawale Bakare. The protesters are also demanded the rejection of the anti-social media bill by the National Assembly. They described the bill as a grievous infringement on the constitutional right to free speech. The protesters, protesters rather noted that the Senate was aiding and abetting full-grown dictatorship in the country by proposing death penalty for offenders. According to the convener of the demonstrations, Deji Adeyanju, the new law was unnecessary, adding that Section 24 of Cybercrime Act 2015 had addressed the issue of fake news and hate speech. The Constitution, which is the ground law, the penal code, and other laws have taken care have, other laws have taken care of, uh, what call it, of all your concerns in this country. So Nigeria should take this to you. And once we have submitted our letter, the concerns of Nigeria that these two bills are self-serving, these two bills are notion, these two bills are draconian, and these two bills must not be passed. And the, Nash, the next national semi-final must not make itself the enemy of democracy in Nigeria. And that's why we are here today. I want to assure Nigeria that no single bill can have never ever pass without public hearing. This is what the Nigerian ones that we are going to do. We are here on behalf of Nigeria, we are to make the law for Nigeria, not for the signatures alone. So I'm assuring you on behalf of the Senate, the 9th Assembly, that your view will be entertained. And, uh, well, on the, the leadership of the Senate, I want to assure you that Ninth Senate is not in any way an appendix of executive. It is not true. And uh, if the Senate President says something, we should always look at what he said before he said that. I can quote him verbatim that he said that he knew that Mr. President meant well for Nigeria.